Yeah, well, it, it looked like to us that um, the sun was going to come out, and we had reached out to him previously and said, hey, why don't we play the 6 o'clock game at 2 when the yeah. sun's out? And that, that's where we were intended to do because, you know, it's been – playable here with, with in the daytime yeah uh, and then they got some snow on the field and it was supposed to snow more tonight uh, and then no rain after that so there's n and and not warm enough to do anything with the snow you know we ran in that yeah. same situation that one year with me yeah so anyway we're, we're hanging our hat on in, uh, impending weather we're not mentioning snow because uh, we don't want that to get out just wanted not to get right back on the field would have been nice to, to get a midweek game early? Yeah, uh, under uh, good playing conditions, yeah. certainly. We, the, the more you can play early, um, within reason, uh, I think it's better for your team and the youth of our team. And we saw some bright spots over the three game series that we just played and some things we need to work on. And we didn't play a whole lot of uh, different guys, position player wise. We stayed pretty much with the same lineup. So anytime you can get uh, some other guys in there and feet wet not not that it has nothing to do with Portland just games you know innings opportunities and that type of thing so yeah a little disappointed you anticipate this week I mean like you say you went the same one through nine for three straight is that you plan to kind of keep going with that as long as it's been right or do you want to see some more guys sprinkled in a little bit uh well it, it would be really good news if you stayed with the same lineup that means they're functioning well and I'd say it was about 60 percent uh guys functioning well and 40 percent offensively I'm talking about uh, defensively uh, we were solid except for on the mound uh, <clears throat> four out of the last four out of the five errors were from the mound unfortunately and so we've got to work on that the PFP part of it and and then we were about 50 percent in the pitching too five out of the ten guys were solid and five were not so solid so yeah. Yeah, we didn't get Nelson in there. Nelson's a guy that's going to pitch a lot of innings for us, and because of the set of circumstances, he didn't pitch over the weekend, and we were going to get him some innings tomorrow had we played and things like that. Pleased to see some power early? It's Absolutely, a, yeah. Sounds like a lot of those could have been out of here, Tim, and it wouldn't. Well, that's what I tell <laughs> I don't know, say this a little tongue-in-cheek. that I texted my staff last night and wondered if Matthews' ball would have been out of PK Park <laughs> and probably went about 600 feet with the wind, wind aided, but... Huh? I said the soccer thing. Did you not get your GPS system out then? <laughs> it, it was a long one because he, he got all of it, and you didn't need to get all of it to hit home runs. So uh, I would say that uh, maybe only two out of our six home runs were on the cheap side when blown. The other ones were legit. So absolutely, uh, anxious. I thought we swung the bat pretty well. You know, a lot of times you you focus on the results, and you could have a real big inning or a a big performance and a lot of crummy stuff. Uh, I thought our offense uh, obviously could have been better at, at times, but I thought overall, I thought our, the quality of our bats was pretty good. And specifically, even the youngsters that were getting out of the gate for the first time looked like they were in character. So they didn't get as many of the hits as the returning guys. And Goldfarb was certainly the star yeah. of the show there. You tell those guys and something like this, hey, if you want to get some home runs, you might want to get them going when it's nice and warm in some of these places rather than trying to pile them up at PK. Don't need to tell them that. <laughs> They're plenty aware of that. What did you see out of uh, Loyola out of that first game? Uh, it's different different playing a three-game a three game series. Yeah, it will be different. Um, I thought their starter kept us off balance, kept us at bay very well, and they brought in their re experienced reliever, uh, Paiva, and we were able to get to him. and. Coach Gill and I are great friends, and two of his assistants played for me, and I love those guys. And uh, I told him after the game, uh, and I, I meant this, I like his team. I, they went 0-3 and, and had a terrible loss on Sunday, a walk-off balk, which is you know, it's not good on either side, really, to be honest with you. And, uh, so anyway, they're going to be very focused and ready for us, and I, I do like the balance of his team. and. And I believe he does a great job. You know, I'm a little biased because he, he's been part of my family, but uh, I think they're going to have a good team. You stick with the same pitching rotation through this week, go with Stringer and Acuna? Yes, yeah. At, uh, I like both. Acuna's biggest problem maybe throwing the first more than throwing the play. Uh, that was a problem for all the pitchers to pick the first. And um, I don't know if it was, you know, they wouldn't use this as an excuse, and I'm not using it as an excuse, but as I – talk to them the guys that pitched in character 
were down in the strike zone like they usually are. And a lot of our guys that went out there, and some of them might have been a foreign field, new mound, flatter mound, whatever. Maybe that was something to do with the picks. But a lot of our pitchers were elevated when they first came into the game and then, then got the ball down. And so they started out a little bit on the wild side. Even Kenyon, who had uh, you know two outings where he two inning outings that he got zeros, but he, he struggled. You know, he was up and I know he would tell you and Coach Dietrich could tell you he'd like to have success in a different fashion. Um, so that, you know, uh, Cunha and Stringer both can't pitch up in the strike zone. They've got to pitch down in the strike zone. The most far did you see what you expected to see for an opening weekend? Are there anything jumps out either one way or the other that caught you off guard? Uh, in a very in, in the very positive way, um, I thought Ray Soderman uh, exceeded our expectations. I thought he blocked and received and led and and sustained, and that's a pretty tough deal catching 27 innings right out of the gate. I was very proud of him. I thought Parker Kelly was a brilliant. Um, I was surprised that our starters uh, didn't throw as many strikes as they should have, and I was a little surprised Kafka didn't have success. I were real high on him, and I thought he was in character, um, and they turned him around pretty good, uh, which I was surprised about. Do you get an idea with Matthews and Steer coming back this year? Were they bigger? I mean, did you get an idea that being a second year, there'd be a little bit more pop to them? Yeah, I said year? that. I, they look like they're a year older, and they've spent some time in the weight room, and They've matured, and uh, uh, they, they look like you'd like a sophomore to look, and they behave that way, too. That, that infield, uh, their instincts and their chemistry, and Coach Roman's raving about them, how easy it is to coach them, and they manage themselves, and you get good leadership there, or, or uh, lots of leaders, I guess would be the best way to say it. You look at Kasser, who spent the most time playing for us and has good leadership skills, but. I think the other guys are quiet leaders, and, and uh, Gabe Matthews doesn't say a whole lot, but when he says stuff, people listen because uh, he's really invested a lot in his improvement uh, physically and uh, ability-wise. So. Sounds like the infield defensively was pretty good for you. Yeah, they're solid. Uh, Nelson's range is spectacular. They made some plays that didn't show up necessarily in the box score, diving plays that saved runs, and Goldfarb you know, was kind of funny because we have been investing so much time in him developing as a catcher. And that would have been something that we'd see tomorrow is Jacob catching some. and uh, That he, he really wasn't refining his defensive skills in the outfield. And he just was, he went off in the outfield. He, he threw a guy out at second on a base hit. And, you know, just his throwing was spectacular. And so I guess uh, uh, practice is overrated as far as uh, me teaching the, the outfielders. Jacob, Jacob was awesome defensively and, awesome, and offensively.